sisters and brothers, wherever you are, whenever it is, let us begin to worship together. Blessed be the most holy trinity, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hear this, O Israel, our God is sovereign and singular. We shall love our God with all our hearts, mind, soul, and strength. Our God alone shall we serve. Hear this, O Israel, we shall love our neighbors as ourselves. On these two great commandments hang all the law and the prophets too. Let us pray. Most high and glorious God, we give you thanks for the wonders of the world. We ask you to guard us, guide us, and bless us on our way, that we may become more fully your children, now and forever unto the ages of ages. We ask this in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and rules with you in the Holy Spirit, now and forever unto those ages of ages. Amen. Remember that when we gather, we do so with the whole church. Heaven and earth are joined in prayer. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for the well-being of the Holy Churches, for our Holy Synod, especially for those who serve as leaders in our church, for all priests and deacons in Christ, for all the faithful in Christ, and for the unity of all the churches of Christ, that together we may labor in love for the sake of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For those who govern us in our land, for the leaders throughout the world, may their minds be filled with wisdom and their hearts be filled with love. We pray to the Lord, hear our prayer. Remembering the holy God-bearer, blessed Mary, and all who are in communion with God, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our lives to Jesus Christ. Amen. Lift up your voices and give glory to our God, the Eternal Shepherd. Ephraim Ai hos ho te hos Ai hos is kiros Ai hos ha tan tos Eleisonimas Sanctus Deus Sanctus Fortis Sanctus immortalis, miserere nobis. Give glory to the Holy One, the source of all being, to the eternal Word, Jesus Christ, and to the Holy Spirit, who breathes life into all creation, now and forever unto ages of ages. Holy God, Holy and Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered the Lord, I know that you can do all things, and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Who is this that hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore I have uttered what I did not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I did not know. Hear, and I will speak. I will question you, and you will declare to me. I had heard of you by the hearing of the ear, 
but now my eye sees you. Therefore, I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. And the Lord restored the fortunes of Job when he had prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had had before. Then there came to him all his brothers and sisters, and all who had known him before, and they ate bread with him in his house. And they showed him sympathy and comforted him for all the evil the Lord had brought upon him. And each of them gave him a piece of money and a gold ring. The Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning, and he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, a thousand yoke of oxen, and a thousand donkeys. He also had seven sons and three daughters. He named the first Jeremiah, the second Keziah, the third Karen Hapuch. In all the land there were no women so beautiful as Job's daughters and their father gave them an inheritance along with their brothers. After this, Job lived 140 years and saw his children and his children's children four generations. And Job died old and full of days. This is the word of the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The former priests were many in number, because they were prevented by death from continuing in office. But he holds his priesthood permanently, because he continues forever. Consequently, he is able for all time to save those who approach God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. For it was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, blameless, undefiled, separated from sinners, and exalted above the heavens. Unlike the other high priests, he has no need to offer sacrifices day after day, first for his own sins, and then for those of the people. This he did once for all when he offered himself. For the law appoints as high priests those who are subject to weakness. But the word of the oath, which came later than the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Jesus and his disciples came to Jericho. As he and his disciples and a large cloud were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Call him here. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. Then Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, My teacher, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has made you well. Immediately he regained his sight and followed him on the way. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We talk so often about what God expects of us, what God wants us to do. And we have the hope that those things will make us better people, and those things will bring us to everlasting life. Job was a person who truly believed. And he was tested. And through all of his afflictions, he despaired. 
but he always hoped. And in the end, he said, God, who am I to tell you anything? And God blessed him with more sons, more daughters, more camels, more sheep, more oxen, more years. The blind man begs Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus says to him, go, your faith has healed you. You are well. Why is it that Jesus can do that? Well, he is the Son of God. That same Jesus, that same Son of God, is the eternal high priest. Back in the ancient days, for the Jews, there was a high priest at the temple who would go in and make offerings for all of us who were sinners. Now, first he had to make sure that he made offerings for himself so that he was considered pure. And then he would make offerings on behalf of the whole community. We knew back in the ancient days, we're not perfect. We're not all that there is. We need God's forgiveness. So we sent somebody in, into the Holy of Holies. I'm not sure that you can see it here, but this small icon is a representation of the iconostasis, which has the royal doors, which in a larger Orthodox church would stand here and would open for the liturgy. And the priest can go through those royal doors into the Holy of Holies, which today we have as our altar, and offer sacrifices so that God would be pleased with us. And Jesus comes along, Son of God, and offers himself as the sacrifice. Raised from the dead, he is the eternal high priest. And he stands before God and offers prayer for us forever. A sacrifice that never needs to be done again because it was done by the Son of God himself. How can God forgive us? We do terrible things. Even the best of us fall short. God knows I fall very far short. God's love is greater than our failings. Jesus' care is greater than our failings. And when we ask for his forgiveness, he grants it. May God keep us all forever. Let us stand and proclaim the beliefs that we share with all the church, including those who came before us and those who will come after. We believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. We believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, descended to the dead, on the third day rose again, ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come to judge the living and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
Now let us confess our sins and failings with clear minds and hearts and a humble spirit, with eyes downward and hands and hearts raised to God. Most Holy Trinity, in you is our life. In your mercy and grace, forgive us our sins. May we never be separated from you. We are members of Christ's body. Please count us worthy to stand with a humble heart and bold spirit in your living presence now and always. May the living God absolve us each from our sins and make us worthy to celebrate these holy mysteries so that we may stand as we do now before our God on that last day. May the grace and love and the fellowship of the living God be with us all now and forever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Confident in the forgiveness of our loving God, let us make known our prayers and petitions. All these prayers we make in the name of Jesus who lives now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O God, holy and mighty, who accepts the sacrifice of praise from your people, accept the prayers we now offer to you. Help us to offer these gifts we have been given for our sake and for all of creation. Grant us the grace to be a living sacrifice acceptable to you. We ask this in the name of Jesus now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The grace and peace of God, the source of all being, the love of the Lord Jesus, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you, and also with you. We always give thanks to you, Holy One, through your beloved Son, Jesus, whom these last days you sent us as a Savior and Redeemer and Messenger of your will. Jesus is your eternal Word. In him all things are created. In him you are well pleased. You sent Jesus from heaven into the Virgin Mary's womb by the power of the Holy Spirit. He was made flesh and blood in Mary's womb, born for us a Savior and brother and servant of all. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, Jesus was willing to stretch out his hands and suffer so that all who believe in you may never suffer eternal death. When Jesus was betrayed, he willingly gave up his life so that death would be destroyed, so that the bonds of the evil one would be broken and hell trod down forever. Before his death, Jesus took bread, gave thanks to you, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which shall be broken for you. Likewise, he took the cup, saying, This is my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which is shed for you when you do this. Remember me. Remembering the death and resurrection of Jesus, we offer to you, Holy One, this bread and cup, giving you thanks because you hold us worthy to stand before you and minister to you these holy mysteries. We ask that you would send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon this offering of your church and gather her unto you. May you grant to all who receive these holy gifts a sharing in your Holy Spirit. May this Holy Spirit strengthen us in faith, hope, and love, so that we may walk in your ways and enjoy praising you for all. For it is through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, that all honor and glory 
Praise and thanksgiving are yours, Holy One, now and forever, unto ages of ages. Amen. It is the Holy Spirit who prompts us to pray these words learned from Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The bread we break, is it not a sharing in the body of Christ? The cup we share, is it not a sharing in the blood of Christ? We who eat this bread and drink this cup shall have everlasting life. God shall raise us up on the last day. Here are God's gifts for God's people. Remember that Christ has died for you. Partake of this heavenly food and drink with hearts full of thankfulness and praise.
we have feasted on God's word and this holy banquet. Made bold, let us make known our prayers and petitions. For the sick and the suffering, for those who work with them, those who minister to them, and those who love them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace throughout the world, peace that is so desperately needed, peace that only God can give, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For wisdom, for all who so need wisdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died and gone before us marked with a sign of faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our families, our friends, those we love and those who love us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For widows, widowers, orphans, strangers, prisoners, captives, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. All these prayers we make in the name of Jesus Christ, who lives now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. May this worship bear fruit in our lives. May God be praised in our words and deeds. May we walk with God and be blessed. In the name of God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and to serve. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.